Hi friends, in the last video, we covered an example, okay, to explore, to get a basic idea, okay, to explain, to explain, yes, what is a working directory, working, working directory, directory, next a staging area, staging, staging area, and a uh, and the local repository like uh, to explore these uh, things uh, we covered already an example okay sir even we discussed about how you can install okay git in our in our windows windows operating system next a small example we discussed right sir now my intention in this session is uh, because of the basics you have to strong that's why what I'm trying to take, one more example I want to discuss. Next, all these commands in detail we are going to discuss. I mean, in detail means, uh, so I will give importance for the commands. Because in the first example, you may explore the commands and uh, areas, uh, staging area, working directory, next local repository, this terminology well. Now you have to get much clarity, right? So one more example, okay? One more example I have to discuss, okay? To, to describe, to describe basic Git operations. Basic Git operations, right? Sir, what operations we covered in the last sessions? Basic Git commands instead of operation, basic Git commands. Okay, like we discussed uh, multiple, multiple commands, right? In the last, in the last session, right? Now, sir, let me explain each and every command in detail so that uh, if you are going to listen second time, you people will get much clarity about this one, sir. Okay, these basics are very, very important, right? Sir, I want to start the uh, Git bash. Okay? Okay, so git bash. Okay, this is uh, git bash. I want to I want to start here. Just uh, have a look once, uh, sir. Okay, well, sir. Now let me go to D drive. Okay, in this I I created one folder git projects. L yes project one is there, sir. Okay, like now let me take um, let me create a new project. Sir, MKDIR project 2. Okay, like now observe the terminology, uh, the various uh, commands. Uh, you have to get a complete picture. That is the main agenda of this uh, session, sir. Okay, like uh, sir, now let me enter into project 2 directory, right? Okay, like sir, now observe L, yes. Do you have anything here? Nothing, nothing, sir. Now, my question is um, for uh, this project 2. For this project too, okay, version control is applicable or not? Can you please confirm? Sir, what is this project too? Project 2 itself is my working directory. For this version control is applicable or not? Please confirm each and every person, friends. Okay, is it is it version control? Is it applicable or not? No, no. So it is my project 2 directory. Sir, it is my workspace project 2, project 2, which is nothing but my workspace. For this version control is not applicable. Okay, if I use uh, git status such type of command, okay, like, like observe that git status such type of command, it is telling that not a git repository, not a git repository, how you can use uh, this command like uh, it is giving left and right, okay, because version control is not applicable, then there is no question of using any git command, okay, like uh, now I have to request, uh, okay, git saying, so I want the version control for this project too. I want version control for this project too. Can you please provide a local repository for me? Can you please provide a local repository for me? Like I have to request a Git. How you can request a Git? Can you please confirm, sir? That thing. Anyone, can you please tell? What is the command I require to use? Git in it. Remember this. Now, observe very carefully, sir. Once we create, sir, once we create, sir, workspace, workspace okay if we want uh, if we want the version control if we want the version version control version control then we have to then we require a repository okay remember this we require we require a repository repository who is the responsible to provide that repository sir git itself is the responsible Okay, now I have to ask, Regit, can you please provide? Okay, a local repository, because version control is required for me, like how you can do that, 
by using git init is the command we require to use. Any doubt about this one, sir? So if I use git init now, so in my working directory, okay, a separate repository will be provided by git. What that repository is, local repository. What is the name of this local repository? What is the name of this local repository is, can you please confirm, sir, what is the name of this local repository? Dot dot git okay this is the directory this dot git directory itself is nothing but dot git directory itself is nothing but nothing but can you please confirm what is this hey, respond what is this one dot git itself is nothing but directory this directory is called local repository remember this one sir local repository repo like next uh, one more sir dot if any file or directory starts with dot means uh, sir this one itself is a hidden directory this one itself is a hidden hidden directory okay that's all sir now any explanation is required about uh, git init command can you please confirm yes friends the first the, the first first command we use is it clear for all of it so if i create workspace i want version control okay to implement version control to do version control okay so if you want to maintain versions we require a repository who is the responsible to provide that repository git itself is the responsible to provide that repository okay what uh, how you can request git to provide that local repository git init itself is the command we require to use okay Okay, now have a look once. L yes, iPhone A. Okay, can you please provide hidden files also? iPhone A means all. Can you please provide hidden files also? Like now observe that, sir. Here only two two hidden directories are there. Of course, we covered, sir. Except that nothing is there. Of course, these two things are available in every directory. In every directory, every directory in Linux uh, contain two hidden files. Uh, one is a dot. The second one is two dot. One dot means current working directory. Two dot means a uh, parent directory. Directory. Okay, like we covered already in the Linux. Sir, if you want to get perfection with respect to the Git, with respect to okay, DevOps, compulsory you should have clear clarity on the Linux. Remember that. Almost uh, the people who are attending this session, we spend uh, one and a half month only on the Linux area. You should be very strong friends. Okay, like if you if you are not familiar with the Linux, uh, but please make sure in your mind compulsory you should have clear clarity on the Linux. Then only better to come to DevOps. Otherwise, everywhere there are n number of questions will be there in your mind. Better to strong in the Linux area. Okay, like. So now, here, now observe that git init is a command I'm using. First, first command I'm using, sir, git init. Sir, initialized empty git repository in so and so. Okay, like it is telling, sir, initialized empty git repository. Like, sir, now observe, initialized empty git repository. Okay, like uh, the git projects project to dot git. Yes, this uh, dot git itself is by default considered as yes, local repository. Okay, everyone in the position to understand, right? Now, if I use the word ls a yes, observe that dot git. Am I getting this one or not? Please confirm. Yes, friends. Okay, clear. Was there? We will discuss that. Yes, up to this is the clear for all of you, right? Okay, well, so this is the first command what I have to discuss. Okay, now what I want to use is clear for you people, right? So git init. Now I want to use git git status. Okay, like I want to use the second commonly user command, sir. Git status. Remember this one. Sir, we used already in the last example this one. Even in this example also, I used already git status. Sir, now... Is it possible to use git status now? Please confirm. Because repository is already available. Version control is already available. Then happily you can use git status. Now it is never going to tell, oh, you should not use like it. It is never going to use the word. Now observe that. So on branch master, no commits yet. Nothing to commit. Like it is clearly telling. It is clearly telling. We are not required to. Okay, it is It is not telling you should not use it. You can use, but currently nothing, nothing to commit. So, okay, like it is telling, sir. So what the git status is going to provide? Very, very important, sir. 
it shows it shows the current status it shows the current status of all files in each area remember this one sir it shows the current status of all files in each area in each area like uh, untracked any file is untracked or not untracked file next and after that modified files modified modified files next uh, staged files staged staged files etc okay are current status of every file if you want to know the status of each and every file then then we required then we required we have to use git status is the command is it clear for all of you right yes can you please tell what is the purpose of git git status what is the purpose of git git status right sir now what i want to take is just observe carefully right sir here let me create a file okay cat cat file1.txt i'm taking sir just observe that file1.txt so we can use cat command to create a file with some content okay now i'm taking a first line okay first line in file1.txt first line in file1.txt assume that sir okay control d okay now one file is ready okay cat file2.txt cat file 2 file 2.txt okay this is first line in file 2.txt in file 2 file 2.txt like this i am taking sir control t okay now how many files i created in my working directory can you please confirm sir how many how many files i created in my working directory two files sir sir what is the first one file1.txt file1 file1.txt next and after that file 2.txt now i have my question is Yes, so these two files are tracked by Git or not? Please confirm. No, 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 sir. When the Git starts tracking of these files, yes. Whenever we are adding these files to staging area, but we didn't. But we didn't. That's why now immediately it's going to tell. If I can ask Git status, now observe that clearly. Okay, on branch master, no commits yet. these are untracked files boss these files are not tracked by git untracked files file1.txt file2.txt any doubt about this one please confirm sir so clear for all of you right what is the status every time we can use git status command anyway what is the purpose of status command the purpose of git status command is it shows the current status of all files in each area like uh, untracked files like untracked files modified files and then staged files clear right okay well sir now i have one small doubt okay listen okay i can i can use the word sir now here if you want to get uh, if you are using git status sir complete verbose output you are getting what is the meaning of verbose output is complete detailed output we are getting sir correct or not correct or not we are getting complete detailed output on branch master no commits yet untracked files these and so on sir i want a concise output okay concise concise output sir so if you want a concise output okay if we want if we want a concise concise output okay concise output what we require to use is uh, we have to use we have to use hyphen s option with the git status command okay remember the git status hyphen s option which is going to provide very concise output remember this one sir okay like uh, sir now in the next uh, we never going to discuss git status even we are using multiple times that's why let me talk here only okay git status hyphen s i'm taking sir sir earlier without hyphen uh, s observe if i use git status hyphen s now observe that only two files of course only two files why these two files uh, here these are not these are not tracked these are not tracked that's why question mark question mark it's going to provide don't worry at all it these are not tracked okay now what i'm trying to take is now observe very carefully sir git uh, add file1.txt sir is it uh, what the git add command will do yes can you please observe that and what it's going to do sir add command we are adding files to staging area git add command right of course you have that basic knowledge okay we will discuss now observe that sir now have a look once sir forget about this one thing i told right okay sir git add file1.txt one file 
ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಏರಿಯಾ ಸರ್ ಒನ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಇಂದ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಇಂದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ ಒನ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ನೌ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ನೌ ಆಮ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್